Yo, what's going on? My name is Chase. You're now tuning in to Chase my YouTube channel, which showcases my life, the things I'm passionate about, and what Arkansas has to offer. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you can be a part of the Driver Squad. Make sure you like this video because if you didn't know, once you like this video, you let everybody know on YouTube that this channel is valuable. Share this video with your friends and family members and let them know that Chase Way is popping. Let's get into today's video. Nah, for real. I pull on no star for real. I hop in the whip and take off, you know, my mom. Driver Squad, what's going on? Chase Way back with another video. Today's video, we're going to be going over the what are the best ETL stocks. First off, we also gonna learn what is an ETL stock and we're gonna be learning about what are the other ETL stocks out there. But before we get into that, if you are willing to know or you interested in to know how to invest $50 and watching it grow into $8,140, Head over to my Instagram and say, hey, I would like to learn more about the money matrix. The money matrix system or the money matrix. Hold on. Ugh. My head, it just, sorry, I couldn't do it. I tried to stay in character. If you'd like to know more about the money matrix, uh, make sure you head over to my Instagram and say, hey, Chase, I would like to know more. We do live, we do live Zoom callings on Wednesdays and Saturday. Today is today is Monday, so you can either reach out to me today, and I will give y'all a reminder again on uh, Wednesday, seven o'clock at Central, seven o'clock Central, Wednesday, seven o'clock Central on Saturday. But let's talk about these stocks. Put y'all on the screen. Three, two, one. Let's go. So as we open up cash out. This is everything for Friday. We're not gonna go over my portfolio or anything, but let's just go straight to ETL. So this is what I did to come up with the best stocks. I went over to performance and I clicked year for time period. And I went to the lowest. And of course I gathered those two, but I didn't associate it. I didn't uh, include United States oil phone. So I went up a little bit. Um, United States oil phone when I wasn't on here at first, so that's weird. Uh, so I definitely got XOP, which is oil and gas, explore, and product. And then I also got uh, SPDR select sector fund, energy select sector. And then once I went up to 30%, uh, KBR, I got the bank ETL. And then I got the 20% of the Brazil, the iShares MSCI Brazil ETL. Then I also got regional banking ETL. Uh, and then we go to 10%. This is where I got the, the, select, the SPDR Select Sector Fund Financial. I just took five stocks out of those. I didn't want to overwhelm y'all with everything, but Heading over to Expedia.com. I'm gonna make sure I leave this link down below if you wanna read more into it. But this is talking about exchange traded fund, ETL. My last video, one of my videos, I talked about the top ETFs and somebody made a comment. I didn't learn anything about what an ETF was. And I'm I'm 40 people and I took that at, let me teach y'all, let me show. Let me uh, let me put y'all on what ETF mean. What is an ETF? It's an exchange traded uh, traded fund, a type of security that involves a collection of securities such as stock that often tracks an underlying index. Although they can invest in any number of index industry uh, selectors or use various strategies, ETFs are in many ways similar to mutual funds. However, they are listed on exchanges and ETL shares traded throughout the day, just like ordinary stock. Uh, some well as known as the SPDR S&P 500 ETF, which is SPA, which tracks the S&P 500 index. ETFs can contain many types of investments, including stocks, commodities, bonds, or a mixture of investment types. 
and exchange traded fund is a marketable security, meaning it has associated price that allows it to be easily bought and sold. So some things that you wanna just remember that the ETF is a basket of securities that trade on exchange just like a stock. Also ETF share price fluctuate all day as the ETF is bought and sold. This is different from a mutual fund that only trade once a day after the market closes. So that's the difference between a mutual fund and the ETF. ETFs can contain all types of investments, including stocks, commodities, or bonds. Some offer US only holdings while others are international. So that's dope. ETFs offer low expenses ratios and fewer broker commissions than buying the stocks individually. So that means if you invest in ETF, it's normally gonna be a fee. If you're gonna be holding your money in here and Sometimes, yes, it's kind of better to invest in a, a ETF than an individual stock. Sometimes you can have your ups and downs with the uh, individual company, or if you invest in an ETF, where it's multiple companies in this um, exchange fund. I don't know why my mind went blank. This exchange uh, fund you can grow larger because that stock might be do bad, but say you took your money out, but since you in this ETL, your money can still grow. Oh, um, so we learned about what an ETF is. Now let's go into, let's, let's, let's head over to right here. Let's go to the shopping for new stocks. And if you would like to have this uh, work beat, oh, I'm sorry, work beat, workbook, you can get that in the description down below. You're gonna be your viewer. You're not gonna be able to change anything, but you will be able to view this. And I will be doing more consist consistently. I, what did I wanna say? I will be doing more consistent videos talking about stocks. I did kind of go away, but I had to find my rhythm, but now I'm back. So as we go to ETL, these are the four that I came up with. Uh, the XOP, XLE, KRE, KBE, and W, I mean EWZ. We have our stock price and we also have our non moving day average. Meaning, say if you want to trade a stock in the next nine days, or you want to gain some traction and put a large sum amount of money into one of these companies, and then you want to swing trade it. I don't know what your strategy is, but my strategy is investing long term. I'm pretty much thinking for the next 10 years. So I'm going to also put it in a hypothetical situation. What if I invest a lot of money in this stock? How much money would it I'll come on top of? But let's go back to over here and let's learn about what are some other ETLs. So you have a bond ETL you have an industry ETF, you have a commodity ETF, you have a currency ETF, and you have an inverse ETF. Bond ETF is, might include government bonds, corporate bonds, and state and local bonds called municipal bonds. I feel like I got that wrong, but that's okay. Yeah, I definitely got that wrong. Industry ETFs track a particular industry such as technology, banking, or the oil and gas sector. Sector Commodity ETFs invest in commodities including crude oil or gold. Currency ETFs invest in foreign currencies such as Euro or Canadian dollars. And an inverse ETF attempts to earn gains from stock declines by shorting stocks. Shorting is a selling a stock expecting a deadline in value and repurchasing repurchasing it at a lower price. Investors should always be aware that many inverse ETLs are exchange traded notes and not true ETLs. A ETN is a bond but trades like a stock and is backed by an issue like a bank. Be sure to check with your broker to determine if an ETN is a right fit for your profile. Hmm. How to buy and sell ETLs. So if you just look over the past 10 years, IVV is moving up, SPY is moving up, 
B O O is moving up. Q Q Q is moving up. B T I, pretty much everything moving out. Gold, it's kind of, it was at a high, went down. Of course, it's it's on its way back up again, and it look like this is all the way up to 2019. So of course, once they update this section, gold is gonna be a lot bit, a lot bit higher. This haven't even factored in the crash, but that's kind of this, the information is good. But now Investpedia need to update their calculations. But I also found this. This is something else that we gonna let's get into. Uh, here we go. So if you go to ETF.com and you type in what's all in these companies on our first list we have xop the stock price is 44 dollars and 61 cent and the nine moving day average is projecting 47 dollars and 75 cent now you might be wondering what are all companies that's included in this so it shares with you about this if we scroll down and i didn't even take the time to look at everything but I kind of wanted to see what companies are all in this. So you have ETQ Corporation, Pioneer Nature Resource, APAC Corporation, HES Corporation, Noble Energy, Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation, Parsley Energy, Marathon Petroleum, Chevron, and Continental Resources. So these are the top 10% that's in this ETL. Oh, excuse me. That's in this ETF right now. Right now, the closing price is forty-four dollars and sixty-one cents, same as ours. Correct. Uh, since nine eleven, it went up sixteen cent, point thirty-six percent, which is good. But it's also projecting that it's gonna go up. So, if this is something that you want to invest in, that would be a good investment. XLE. Let's look at XLE. I ain't never got this before. I don't know what this is. Well, I guess that's not a good website to go to. Oh, man. Hold on, driver squad. Okay, we back, we back, we back. I had to make sure, had to make sure I didn't lose y'all. All right, let's go back to the internet. XLE XL Hold on, what do I Oh, that's what's throwing me off Alright, here we go Let's figure out what other stocks in XL This is a energy sector SPDR fund. The closing price Friday was at $32.62. Same as ours on our sheet. Uh, the reason why y'all can't see me, my camera died and I didn't even bring my charge on the road. So sorry about that. So the top, uh, they Chevron, ExxonMobil, Schumberger, Kendall Morgan, William Companies, EOG Resources, Phillips 66, Conoco, Phillips Marathon Petroleum, and Valero. They make up, and then they got some sectors as well. That's dope. Um, as we go to the stock spreadsheet, $32.62. It's projecting in nine days, it's gonna be $34 and nine cent so which a lot of these uh etls is projecting that it's going to be moving forward and this is what it's like on the 200 moving day the stock price for most of these are they down right now which is good 
But if you want to make your money grow the, the most, XLE is the one that has the highest return rate. But something else that you have to keep in mind that I want to talk about as investing in ETLs. Uh, I read it. I can't be. I can't remember where I read it. Hold on. I want to make sure that I got it because I know something with ETLs. They do charge you to hold that stock. And matter of fact, let's just go to here. Uh, to invest, let's just say we bought this ten dollars, right? We would go. Oh dang. Oh, never mind. I don't have to really buy. Uh, uh, am I in it? Okay, I am in ETLs. I'm tripping. So let's just look at the the ETLs that I'm invested in right now. I'm invested in J and K, H Y G. LQD, uh, VCSH, and VCIT. The reason why I'm invested in these companies is the government buying their bonds back in these companies. So I'm just putting my money where the government putting their money at. Um. I lost my train of thought that quick. The most reliable ETF is XLE. And I just wanted to pull that up. That's what I wanted to pull up. I lost my train of thought since I'm not, since y'all can't see me. I don't know why, that's funny. Uh, if you just look over the course of the year that They've been pretty much declining, and now they decline right there. Energy and oil not as demanded right now. Not too much going on, but we don't have artificial intelligence, or we don't. Everyone don't have electric, electrical. I cannot say that word. Don't have electric cars right now, so energy is still gonna be our main source too move around there are becoming more electric cars on the road but a majority of the poor including us uh middle class i'm not middle class yet y'all not middle class yet but if you are thank y'all for watching my videos but as us as being in the poor class there's not too many electric cars on the road so gas is still our, our main source and we still spending our money in gas and as y'all can tell xle has uh go back xle has a uh, philip 66 marathon valero any of these companies that you probably give your money to on a day in and day out basis, why not invest into an ETO? Now, something else that I'll, we're going to do this later. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Something that to look at right here is to hold a stock. It costs you, I don't know if it pays out on me. But I don't think I have gotten that receipt just yet. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think it take no money out. Let's see. Uh. Oh, never mind. On Cash App, it doesn't. It doesn't take out any fees. It just take out a fee if I sell it. But I know probably like other other. I mean, other uh, brokers out there. I say other, other. Other brokers out there, they do charge you to invest in ETFs after so much money. I guess since I haven't put too much money in one of these ETFs, uh, they haven't charged me yet. So y'all just be careful on that.
but mainly I would like for everyone to learn more about what is ETF. I'm still learning as I invest in stocks, but I would like y'all to continue to learn, continue to research. Uh, y'all have any questions, you can always reach me out. Reach out to me on my Instagram and ask me anything. Uh, I'll be more than willing to help. If y'all want to be a part of the Discord group, that link is down below as well. Shout out to everybody that's in here. Shout out to Martin. He's very... I'm going to be honest. Uh, for those, I don't know who's all working or not, but uh, Martin is very reliable. He gives great insight and great information. So does Ron. So does... Uh, who else be dropping stuff up in here? Indica Smoke. Who else be coming in here to talk with us? Uh... Joey Bag of Donuts. Uh, she. Let's see who else be coming up in here. Austin. Let's see who else. Well, who else? Who else be coming up here? I was having a good conversation this day. Sneaker stalking. Yeah, but they have great smart individuals in there as well. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get up out of here. Y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all in the next video. We're going to be talking about the best food and drink stocks. And we're going to be moving forward from there. Y'all have a great day. Taste where it's out. I'll see y'all in another video. Peace.